It, it's absolutely incredible the amount of RPM that this engine can turn, the amount of power this thing has. I was very, very impressed. I've driven a few other side-by-sides before, so I kind of knew what the game was, but this definitely changes it a whole lot. Man, this thing is immediate. Absolutely immediate. It accelerates like nothing else. Between six and 8,000 RPM, it is so fun to drive. The YXC comes with the first ever high-performance three-cylinder engine in a sport side-by-side -side for awesome power on demand and high-revving excitement. The Polaris RZR XP1000 and YXC cost about the same, and the RZR has a 999cc engine, but it's a less powerful two-cylinder. When UTV Action did their own shootout with the YXZ and the RZR 1000 XP and the Can-Am Maverick 1000, the YXZ was the clear winner for engine performance, and not just because of its engine. The YXZ's power is delivered directly through the industry's first and only sequential shift five-speed manual transmission in a sport side-by-side. -side. And whether it's clutch pedal or paddle shifting, they both operate up to 15% more efficiently than a rubber belt driven CVT transmission. As UTV Action noted when they said, the Yamaha is more potent and responsive to the throttle because of the lack of CVT inefficiency. That uh, manual transmission, it adds a whole new dynamic to driving a pure sport side by side. For me, that makes it more fun than anything else I've ever driven. It was so much fun to drive. It was actually so easy to shift and just real fun to have that kind of control of the vehicle. Shifting was huge, especially when you go around a corner, downshifting, just hammering the gases. Super awesome. Again, whether your YXC is equipped with a clutch pedal or auto clutch paddle shifters, the driver has independent control over engine RPM, gear selection, and ultimately the power to the tires for a direct connection between you, the vehicle, and the terrain that can't be matched by any other vehicle in the market. The SportShift model also introduces several new transmission technologies, many of which have never been seen in a sport side-by-side. -side. Like automatic downshift, a feature that returns the transmission to first gear if the vehicle comes to a stop without downshifting via the paddles making it that much more easy to operate. And full throttle shifting, so you don't have to lift off the gas between shifts. And an all new launch system that guarantees thrilling starts off the line with astonishing acceleration and a completely new and unmatched pure sport driving experience where you're in full control of the power delivery. Both YXZs feature natural engine braking entering a turn, then plenty of power and torque coming out, blasting through twisty trails, both uphill and down, with the ability to use the full RPM range for a unique and exciting driving character. Something the RZR CVT just can't match with any level of excitement, because you can't shift. All you can do is work the accelerator and brakes and listen to that dull drum. And because of its CVT design, the RZR's engine is mostly limited to a very narrow RPM range. The transmission ultimately decides how fast the engine's running, preventing you from truly being in the driver's seat. On loose or slippery descents, the YXC's manual transmission also gives you natural engine braking. The RZR doesn't offer this feature. You're essentially freewheeling, rather than predictably managing downhill speed with the right gear selection. And if that's not enough, the RZR's CVT system's design allows the belt to slip at idle and also generates tremendous heat when driven aggressively. That's why CVT belts remain a costly problem for Polaris owners. In the end, both machines are powerful, but whether you choose the clutch pedal or paddle shifter, the YXZ lets you harness that power in a much more exciting way. 